Okay, so we're going to do 3.7, 3.8, and 3.9 all together. Uh, I've just filled out my details in the box for 3.7 and run the cell, and it prints the statement we've seen before. So it's taken the variable first name and last name, which are strings, and the variable age, which is an integer, and converted it to a string, and then combined them all into one formatted print statement. But what happens if my number is not an integer, so I'm 32 and a half approximately years old, and if I run this cell, it converts 32 and a half to um, uh, a string in my print statement, and I'm going to add some extra numbers now and make this a very long integer, and Python will print out all those decimal places, so it's not doing anything clever. But actually, generally, I'm not going to want to have, I don't know, what have I got? 10 decimal places there. I might only care to the nearest half a year what my age is. And so that means we're going to do formatting of uh, further formatting of our print statements. And the way we're going to run it, run this is with these additional bits of syntax inside the braces. So first I'm going to run the cell. And now it says Chad Nelson is 33 years old. And that's because I'm over 32 and a half there. And I have used this syntax to round to zero decimal places, which is what this zero here is. If I replace that zero with a two, I've now rounded to two decimal places. So what's going on here? Well, we already know that these braces tell Python to expect a, a value that it's going to format into us into a string. We know that that value is the variable age, but this colon tells Python that we want to format the age value, give some additional information, and specifically, we want age to be a float that we put to two decimal places, and that shorthand for that is not particularly obvious maybe but once you've done it a few times it will make sense uh you can also for example say that i'm actually going to print a percentage rather than a float uh still to two decimal places and now it prints the number as a percentage and obviously because it was 32 it's actually 3200 percent um yeah we're going to use a little bit more formatting later on in a few ex in a few additional um tasks and it's one of those things that you'll just get used to the more and more you do so just try it out whenever you do a print